Welcome back to Strength Side. A few weeks ago, we posted the most potent lower body flexibility routine that you can do, just two stretches. If you haven't seen it, it'll be somewhere on the screen right now. Now, a lot of you guys asked for the upper body equivalent to that. So, today I'm gonna take you through a follow along routine that you can do. This is what I would do if I only had two stretches to dedicate towards loosening up my upper body, right? If you only have 15, 20 minutes in the day, do this with me right now. Okay, so let's get to it. You're gonna need a surface like so. Um, this could be a couch, it could be a countertop. You don't have to do it kneeling, you can do it standing. Um, a bed, anything. Also a broomstick works great for this, a water bottle, anything that you can just grip with your hands on, but we wanna get the hands outside of the elbows like so. Okay, so not here, but here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place those elbows down on the surface. We're gonna walk the knees back. And then from here, you're going to press the chest downwards without extending the spine, right? Keep a good neutral spine by keeping your core muscles on and then push that chest down. So in the beginning, if you're stiff, it's gonna look more like this. You're not gonna be able to get this nice even line between the arms and the torso and that's okay. Okay, so what I want you to do with me is I want you to round your upper back and then I want you to press it down, press that chest downwards, let the arms come up to your ears, and then let's go back to the rounded back, and we press down, back to the upper back. So when we, when we round the upper back, we're, we're essentially resting the muscles here, giving them some length, and then we, we push down and we go to, into a deep stretch, and then we come back up. Let's do this three more times. You should be feeling this throughout the sides of your back, the middle back, behind the arms. All of this is great areas to feel this. Now this is gonna be our last one. We're gonna pause in this deep position here. Breathe. Signal to your body that you're safe in this position. Your body will let you go a little bit further into it. And relax. Wonderful. So this stretch is awesome for allowing your spine to straighten out, that upper spine to sit more in this extended rather than this kind of rounded back posture, okay? So that is stretch number one. Let's go to stretch number two. Now, first off, we worked on this, right? Bringing the arm overhead. Now we're gonna work on this, bringing the arm behind us, okay? Now, my favorite way to do this is through a crab press, okay? This is in the daily practice. Some, some of you guys will be familiar with this. If you haven't tried the daily practice, it's free. Click the link in the bio, free stretching routine. So for this, I wanna place my fingers um, going behind me and I wanna put those palms right behind the hips here, okay? Now from here, what I like to have people do is actually kind of round the shoulders so we know what we're working against. We don't want this position. We wanna do the opposite. We wanna open up the shoulders, externally re rotate, try to show that armpit, elbow pit, and the armpit and really open the chest, and then we're going to press the hips to the sky. Keep good tension behind your shoulder blades, hold and come back down. Now, as you do that, you'll feel a big stretch in the chest, the shoulders, the biceps, all this is gonna be opening up. So we'll go again. Squeeze the glutes as well, come back down. You can round to like show yourself where you want to stay out of. Open up. Breathe. Back down. There we go. Open. Get a nice straight body line. A lot of tension throughout the upper back here. And the front of the chest is going to be opening up. 
Most people have tight chest muscles. Most people have tight front of the shoulders because we're sitting and we're slouched so much. This is reversing all of that. So for you guys that have done this before, you want a little bit more, go ahead and straighten your, your knees out and we'll do the same thing. This is gonna load the shoulders more now in this position. Oh yes, I'm gonna do two more. And last one, we're gonna hold, open, Keep very active here and relax. Woo! So after doing that, you should feel very open in the shoulders and the chest here. You can take that another time through. You can do this two to three rounds, play the video back, have fun opening up the upper body, becoming more flexible, reversing all the sitting at the computer that we do. These are both stretches that we use in our Move Strong Now program, which focuses on developing strength and mobility at the same time. Very rare, it's hard to find that good combination. Let me know how your upper body is feeling after doing this routine with me. Are you feeling open? Comment open below. We post videos every single Friday, so you can follow along with us, open the body, have fun, subscribe to Strength Side, as always. So film the upper body follow along yesterday in Texas in about 85 degree weather. Hop on a plane to Colorado. Oh. And it is cold. It is very cold. Big change in what's going on. <laughs> We're still going to train today. I love training in the elements. I love switching it up a bit. It's a lot of fun. I was just actually laying in the snow. Just like getting that cold exposure and rarely going to gym these days. So we're about to train the bridge a little bit and have some fun. arching we're gonna work on the bridge a little bit I think this goes great with the upper body follow along because the lower body you have stuff like the splits and everything but for the upper body pretty much the best display of a really flexible spine and shoulders is the bridge I for one don't have the best bridge it's always been a challenge for me extending and opening up but I've got it good enough to be able to play with and like do a lot of cool movement stuff with my spine. So moral of the story, you don't have to have the best bridge, but working towards there, you can do some cool shit. What's your bridge journey been like? I used to try to like slam myself into the bridge. You know how you could just literally like, oh, just gotta crank as hard as you can. So I'd end up injured all the time, like low back and shoulder stuff. So I got a lot of value out of learning from like a really, really low level and then building the bridge from there. So uh, show us your bridge. So okay. people know. Okay. His bridge is pretty darn good. Nice open shoulders, nice archiness in the back. Look at those heels are even down. That's a, that's a pretty nice bridge. And it's taken him a long time to get there. And I don't think that that bridge is completely necessary to have. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the amount of times I'm actually in that bridge, very small when you're very small. Yeah, yeah. Show us some beginner things. Where we start? So what I want to do is show how you can take where you're at and where Trevor is and you can bridge the gap. So for beginners, I think it's like, really really useful to actually get comfortable in the low bridge position which is more so going on your toes and not having the heels flat but from here like let's just get comfortable with popping the hips up keeping the butt squeezed so we don't get too much low back extension and then we can even start doing this type of thing rotating a little bit and we're just getting comfortable in what a bridge is the archetype of a bridge now from here what we can do is pop up on your toes push the knees forward come to your head. This starts you 
in your bridge journey right here, okay? And this doesn't take too much flexibility, but feels good, it feels fun. Now from here, we can just start lifting the head a little bit. Boom, boom. And this is what you'd call a low bridge. So let me show you what you can do with a low bridge. I think it's like much more functional, is you can play around with stuff like this. Ooh, pretty, right? So this actually doesn't take much flexibility from my shoulders or my spine. It more so just takes strength from the hips, integrity from the shoulders to be able to do that. You're just getting comfy there. You're just getting comfy. That's kind of like in between step, me medium step, intermediary step, intermediate step. The place in between, I think that's like a very good place to be, but if you want to take it even a step further, Trevor's gonna show you. I have people start with just one arm on the ground. Cool thing is you get to work with your heel down so you're not using too much of that like really knee forward position. And it, what that does is it forces you to actually load the shoulder, right? So right here, I'm actually pushing through my shoulder to get it nice and open. And uh, that's the biggest thing when I see people bridge, just learn how to push into the ground, right? From here, I mean, you can do so much. You can move all around. You could potentially try to put that other hand on the ground. There's so much you could do. The cool thing about that position is that's actually a far more functional position when you're moving than actually going into your high bridge. Cause you actually, like you have the mobility to be able to do so much other stuff. Whereas when your other hand's on the ground, you're fixed. Wait, I'm gonna put myself on the spot. Let's see if I can do one move from the full bridge. Uh oh, oh boy, might have been really dumb. You'll never see this if I fuck this up. You'll never see this. Ah, ha, ha. that's just a flex. That's just a bridge flex. Shout out to my coach Will, who led me into getting that. Okay, let's take a break. We're about to hit the Boulder zip line. Dude, it's so cool fix. that the park just has a zip line. Put your feet on it or you just sit on it. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. That was gnarly, dude. This is one of the craziest zip lines I've ever been on. Alright, your turn. That's a wrap on today. We had so much fun playing in the snow, training in the cold weather. We actually warmed up super quick. When you move your body, that's what happens. We might go hop in the hot tub now, who knows? So I'm interested to know about, have you trained the bridge before? Uh, is it interesting to you? What's your bridge journey been like? Comment below, let us know. And uh, if you want us to do more tutorials on the bridge, which a lot of people ask for, comment below, let us know. And, we might do that for you. So all the usual stuff, you know, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. If you like follow alongs, check out Guided. We post videos every single Friday. You can follow along with us and um, have a fun time, man. Train outside. Train outside, gym-free athletes in the house. Until next time, as always.